welcome to Raflims. This is Farro Hossain, and today we are going to learn about the global system preferences of Koha Integrated Library System in Koha Operational and Administrative Skills Series. So the global system preferences are something like the advanced administration of Koha or the way you want to control or present your system in general or globally. So here we have few preferences and then we have few values. Let's come to cataloging. In cataloging, we will talk about the acquisition details. If you want to display the acquisition details with bibliographic records, then display this. Or if you don't want to display the acquisition details, for example, the price of that particular book or the source of that book or the uh, publisher, I mean, the source of books or where you have acquired uh, the, uh, the person name. So, don't display if you want to. I mean, as per your policy. Hide mark, or you can hide mark tags and the subfield codes in mark view. Okay, there are two, three views. One is normal view, the second is mark view, and the final is ISBD view. Let me show you. There's a search result. Let me open this. So there's a search result. It has three views. Normal view, mark view, and ISPD view. Let's see. When I open the mark view, you can see the mark tags there and the subfield as well. Normally, a journal user don't concern with the mark tags so you can un i mean you can hide these tags by said hide mark or display don't display and if you, when you click don't display uh, when you select don't display and click okay save the preference and then see what happens the tags will be disappear you can see so this way you have set this value and intranet biblio default view by default display biblio records in normal form or mark form or ISBD, I mean, whatever you want. So we generally work on normal font, I mean form, or if you want to display them in, for example, by default in, in ISBD or in mark, so you can select them. For example, this is actually the mark view and here we have the ISBD view. Further, you can modify the ISB ISBD is actually International Standard Bibliographic Description. So you can modify this format by if you have some knowledge about the mark tags, so you can modify. So you have to read more about the Koha uh, in Koha manual about the Koha. Label mark view. Okay, this is actually called label mark view. Flaps, uh, repeat, tags, okay, not so important. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go to some Okay, default classification source is DV. And you can change this to LC or whatever you are using. 
and easy analytical record display okay and auto barcodes generate in the form barcodes and the air or you can select no generate automatically not generate automatically there's no need to generate automatically default language fields you can select default language field and there's a list of i mean mark code for languages and here's also a list of uh, uh, mark code for countries so you can select your countries as well you can select your default languages as well and the item call number if you're using lc then you have to change this it's 050 uh, and ab the subfield will be ab so if you're using dv that's 082 it's fine and if you're using lc then you have to change this mark flavor by default say mark 21 or whatever the flavor you have selected at the time of installation mark organization code this is something i very much interesting actually so there you see by water and by default it's actually ost or if you want to select your country then okay let me save this first then i have to leave this I have saved this now. Okay, let's click new tab. Okay, mark organization code. You can see your organization as well. Search the mark organization code database. There you can find country. Let me see my country, Pakistan. Let me search Pakistan. Maybe we have some definitely we have and there you can see the 73 hits and you can select the code and copy this code here here here, here. and then you copy this code here so you can see the organization name the address of the organization and who created actually okay and when for example this is islamia university of Kabulpur. This is Aachen University and past. So you can see this gift as well. Isra University, Barrier University, and the okay Council of Islamic Ideology. So you can copy these codes and then you paste here as an organization of I mean the mark organization code. So the next thing or if you don't want so you can use default code is ost spine label auto print is actually uh, we'll discuss the spine label in in the next video when we will talk about how we can print spine labels and the, how we can generate spine labels and the labels okay there we have a spine label and uh, display or don't display buttons on the bib details page to print item spine labels okay i think display and then you can add it the spine label what value you need for example you need barcode as well so this this example on or you need copy number for example after the barcode you can add like this <coughs> and uh, when using the quick spine label printer do automatically pop up a print dialog okay and then save this when you complete the cataloging and uh, when you use the spine label uh, printer then a dialog will automatically come to print uh, the resource, I mean, the spine label. We will configure the labels when we come to the label printing. 
in in the tools portion and we will discuss in details how we can create the label from koha <coughs> and now after the administration okay after the cataloging we have circulation in circulation we will talk about the In circulation, we will talk about the check-in policy, check-out policy, and we'll also talk about the fine policy and hold policy and self-checkout. So these values are actually important in circulation. So let's see the check-in policy. So in check-in policy, you can see the first value. It's actually uh, lock return of lost item okay there you can see circulation you can read about more about this article request and the back checkout on on the koha manual but these are actually important check-in policy so block returns of lost item by default it actually block and you have to modify this to don't block block return of withdrawn items so then you have to ch change this to don't block by default you will see this actually the block this is actually the koha demo and someone has actually modified this so you have to ensure that this will be don't block don't block and this has to be <coughs> calculate fine on returns so by default you will see don't you have to change this to do because you cannot calculate the fine without doing this okay and and and, and. and then in check-in policy age restrictions overdue okay allow staff to check out an item with age restrictions okay you can allow staff or you can't okay. <clears throat> as per your policy all fine needs overdue don't require staff to manually override all fine even find less than okay so you can actually require or you can say don't require <clears throat> allow fine override so you can allow staff to manually overwrite and check out the items to patrons who have more than no no issue no issues charges actually it's no issues charges charge and fine okay so you can see as per your policy i mean this is as per your policy so you can manage all these things as per your policy check out policy as per your policy you can match <clears throat> and after this we have to see there we have allow maximum allow fine override this we have done and maximum maximum uh max out standing is actually max out standing so we have to check this okay max outstanding is actually sorry it's actually max outstanding maximum outstanding so the maximum outstanding amount could be 1000 would be 10,000 or whatever as per your policy. 
no issues a charge prevent patrons from checking out books if they have more than this amount so we can say like if they have more than for example uh, 500 us dollar in fine not us dollar it will be work on your currency if you select your currency so that was actually very much important to select the active currency so fine <clears throat> and uh, prevent a patterns from checking out if the pattern has guarantee owning owing in total amount this is something for uh, guarantee not for academic libraries notice bcc i mean if you want to receive bcc on your email address about the student notices so you can write your email address there whatever the notices system will release a bcc i mean a blind copy you will receive okay if a patterns you more than the value of opac find no renewal allowed their auto renewals this is something you can actually according to your policy okay use course reserve use uh, courses of if you are allowing allow courses of then you can find calendar uh, it's actually directly not include days the library is closed fine includes grace period includes or don't use fine modes this is important actually fine mode there you have to select calculate and charge this is too important If your library has self checkout facility, then allow self check returns. Then you have to come here in this portion and you have to mention there allow self check written so you can allow or you can't actually if you have self check and check out then you have to this thing okay so there we have uh, actually we talk few important differences on circulation and finally we have enhanced content enhanced content is actually to provide images on your opac i mean the book images cover images on your opac <coughs> So you can see there are five services i mean more than five services one is this one and all uh, you can see the amazon you can see this service also it's a barker and taylor and the co Koi cover image caches and the google jackets as well html5 as well i dream libraries as well and the library thing as well if you are not using syndentic this is the most important thing you have to subscribe syndentic this is a product of i have everything okay 
to enhance catalog features so you can work on semantics and the local cover image you can allow local cover image and the manual and the novelistic select open library and there are lots of things anyhow so see there you have to select don't show and don't show this have to stop i mean by default there will be don't show at everywhere and you have to show on amazon amazon i think it's good for providing cover images so you just select don't i mean show the amazon images in asian prospect we can say the amazon is good and uh, or if you need google jacket you can add google jacket as well and saying no see what happened let me show you you can see there you can see two images one is not available and the second is available from google images so if you select one it will it will, it will uh, display only one so <clears throat> And then HTML5 uh, media enables. In a pack and a staff client, not at all. Staff client, okay, it's fine. Mm, HTML5 media YouTube. So you can allow this actually. So media from YouTube can be displayed on your pack. And you can say don't you can say don't so is there anything I think the Google and Amazon. Let's see what happened here. So there will be only one image from Amazon. This is good. And you can even the hide this from uh, the jQuery. I mean JavaScript. Uh, actually, there are lots of uh, things are open, so I just close them, but there's still some left. Okay. Okay, show this, not show. Anyhow, what you need to do, you have to select the Amazon and you say show, show for your opaque cover images on your staff client and the cover images on your opaque and you have to use this American website I would recommend this and you have to disable all other if they are active so in this video we have talked about the global system preferences of Koha and we have talked about the accounting in accounting we have talked these two values I mean they are very much important in acquisition we have talked uh, these acquisition created items we have talked about the claims BCC copy we have talked about the currency formats and email purchase suggestions uh in administration we have talked about the koha admin email address and we discussed the no item types image reply to default virtual shelves and timeout in authorities we just talk one thing how you can unlock the author tab further you can read on the 
a POHA manual. And then in cataloging, we have talked about the acquisition details. You can hide your acquisition detail. You can hide your mark tags as well. And the internet uh, biblio default view. And we have talked about the record structure, for example, item call number, mark uh, flavor. We have talked about the mark organization code. We have talked about the spine label print, auto prints, and we have discussed the spine label format. And in circulation, we have talked about the checking policy. We have talked about the checkout policy, fine policy, and hold fines, and the self checkout and enhanced content. In enhanced content, we have talked about the Amazon and Google. In the next video, we will talk about the OPAC patterns and searching they are most important how you can design the interface of your pack for example how you set the header how you will set the credits how you will set the favicon and you have to work on some html code you have to work on some css as well and some javascript as well so we'll talk to you in the next video about this and then patterns we'll talk about the some important patterns and, and the searching as well because searching is most important in on your pack and your koha system thank you very much you are watching raflims so thank you very much you are watching raflims this is for hussain and we are also going to start a new series on cataloging and metadata management from Monday and I would request you to kindly join our channel not on YouTube but also on Facebook and you must comment write what you want actually so let me know how far you are going to understand the videos and uh, till then Thank you very much. Goodbye.